For over 10 years, we've been waiting for Thorpe Park to build a brand new roller coaster. And a couple of years ago, they revealed that they wanted to build something pretty special. It's going to be the UK's tallest roller coaster. Project Exodus standing at 236 foot tall. In this video series, we're going to be covering the construction of this new UK tallest coaster. And we are very excited about this ride. This is going to be great to just watch going up because it's just going to be so big. It's going to be a monster of a coaster to cover and throughout the next 12 months here on theme park worldwide we're going to be bringing you regular updates here from Thorpe Park as they build this brand new ride we're going to be starting off today with a walk down Monk's Walk which is the walkway right next door to the park where you can get some fantastic views looking in and we believe a lot of the trees have been cut back so now we should be able to see quite a bit in there oh and of course we're still a few months away from the likes of seeing supports and track arriving however groundwork's taking place um, all of the former old town area is now being demolished and yes construction is well underway preparing the ground for this new record-breaking ride for the UK beautiful day for a walk then around the perimeter of Thorpe Park and yeah we've made it here now to Monk's Walk and yeah of course greeted straight away with this fantastic view of stealth and yeah a very different view actually to what you get from inside the theme park of course that Intamin hydraulic launch coaster opened in 2006 and it towers over the skyline or at least it will do until next year when Exodus opens here at Thor Park and don't get me wrong stealth will still always be a very impressive structure we yeah, think the fact that Exodus is going to tower higher than stealth at the park is going to be awesome but yeah here's our first update to share with you all then who of course remembers the old Canada Creek Railway I mean I used to love it especially when it used to go down to Thorpe Farm back in the day in fact the track used to run all the way down here uh, right to the back uh, of the area that we can see here you know to Thorpe Farm you could also get a boat over uh, my childhood classic days here at Thorpe Park comment down below if you remember that um, yeah here we go you can see some of the train carriages obviously some of these were also used um, over in platform 15 the scare attraction that they had uh, that ran for a few years here at Thorpe Park Fright Nights and yeah we can just see them now looking very lonely just over here of course with the CCR on there as well of course that stands for Canada Creek Railway that used to operate here at Thorpe Park obviously the layout was shortened a number of years ago now and it's just a small circle loop that ran around um, Old Town um, but yeah it's a shame that we lost that attraction however onwards and upwards there's bigger things to come now of course we have lost the entire of what used to be Canada Creek and of course was later renamed Old Town and one of them attractions down in Canada Creek that all of us used to love was Logger's Leap and yeah you can see one of the old boats just here looking very overgrown just there all the planting around and yeah right next door to it as well another ride that we have lost little family flat ride the Rocky Express oh some so many childhood memories from going on that over the years and yeah there's that central theming piece obviously that was right in the middle of the ride and yeah now that's just round here for us all to see it's like Thorpe Park kind of put things down the edge here of Monk's Walk just for enthusiasts to see I mean it's going to be very busy around here especially kind of over next winter you know when there's going to be a lot going on the park's closed again uh, a lot of people are going to be down here having a look at what's going on and it's great that Thorpe Park are being really open about this project they're not really hiding anything and let's face it you can't hide a 236 foot tall roller coaster um, but yeah these are all the old parts of Old Town that are coming out uh, ready to make way for this brand new Mac Hyper Coaster Oh, here we go with the enthusiasts down here as well. I'm getting a little bit and having a look. Uh, it's getting exciting. Like, you got to think, this is like our, when the big one was being built in Blackpool. It's like our excitement time. Yeah, like, yeah, that was nearly 30 years ago when that coaster ago got to built. Something go off at our age now yeah a, a massive ride as well like huge. something of this scale but yeah, everyone's getting really excited this pathway is going to be busy this year and Thorpe Park are not going to be able to hide this there's going to be views from inside the park there'll be views from on the rise and of course down here on the public footpath next door um, but yeah look at how much this area has opened up now loads of the trees have been removed some of them have been chopped back obviously buildings have already started to be demolished parts of Loggers Leap other bits are still standing there as we'll see in just a moment but look at this i mean the viewers are really opened up especially down towards the other rides in the park i mean you can see saw just over there samurai i mean i've got the camera with the epic zoom so we'll get some nice zoomed in shots for you all but um yeah this is going to be amazing i mean in terms of the rides layout the maintenance bay is going to be kind of just behind the fence here the station's only going to be like 20 30 foot behind this fence and of course the huge lift still and the main structure which is going to tower up here um later this year and of course ready for a 2024 
opening for Project Exodus. But this is the time, obviously, there's been a lot of kind of bits of shuffling around and stuff. We thought we don't want to bore you all with that. We wanted to wait until we get straight to the main event, exactly. you know. We want to wait till stuff starts to go off. Yeah, and start seeing major clearance. Exactly, yeah. You know, there was always like little bits coming out. We want to and wait until it's something like major to see. Yeah, like three years this has kind of been going on now with lots of rumours and speculation and the plans a couple of years ago were submitted. But this is it now. This is the really exciting part where things are happening. Obviously, there's a lot of other work happening in the park we can see from here. I mean, Colossus, we know, is having some partial retrap work done this year and also some work on the lift hill just up there as well, as we can see with all of the scaffolding that's going to place. But yeah, if we zoom in just from here, get a nice view looking down towards that famous double drop just over there on Loggers Lead. We can zoom in just here. If you look behind the flapping wall curtain just there, there's the double drop, which is still in place at the moment. Obviously, we're going to get some better views of that as we carry on walking down just here. But yeah, I think that's why Thorpe are being so open with this project. You can't hide a 236 foot tall coaster, especially when there's a public footpath right next door to where it's being built. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, they've put a brand new fence in down here. They've tried to kind of cover it up a little bit, but uh, yeah, you know, you're gonna be able to see this monster of a ride. I mean, the station's gonna be sat just behind here. Um, and then yeah, obviously it's gonna have that kind of outward banked turn out of the station itself before heading up the lift hill. But yeah, let's get some more shots. Well, there we go. Rest in peace, loggers leave. All in pieces just there. You can see some of the trough and some of the actual mechanism as well. So the train station's gone down here, all them existing buildings, like it's owned it up so much, hasn't it? I didn't it? realize the space was gonna be as big as it is, but it is quite a big size. Yeah, you think about, you know, the log flumes took up a lot of space. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Like this is crazy, like you don't realize, obviously our first time coming down here and seeing it in more detail. And uh, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, look at all the trees that have been cut down over there and opened up. Obviously you can see the diggers just here and yeah, really opened up towards saw the ride. Oh, well, there it is just behind me, the iconic finale double drop of Logger's Leap. And the attraction closed back in 2015. Mac Rides Flume that opened back in 1989. And I had so many fond memories of that attraction. And of course, I'm sure many of you did as well. So be sure to comment down below and let us know your favorite moments and memories from Logger's Leap. Uh, it was the tallest flume ride in the UK. And you know what? It was a brilliant attraction. Uh, I'll never forget going up that lift hill, building up to this finale double drop just here. It was an amazing experience it really was and as much as it's sad to see it go at least it's getting replaced with a massive 236 foot tall mac hyper coaster crazy isn't it really when mac rides built this back in 1989 they probably never thought it'd be getting demolished for a massive mac roller coaster i mean these past kind of 10 years uh, mac rides have come a long way with their roller coasters i mean they've always produced some great rides and the build quality however and um, what we're going to be seeing with this i mean even mac probably never thought they'd be going this high this is the world's tallest coaster that mac have built um, so that's quite a big thing for mac rides actually as well Love Matt yeah, they're great, and just the build quality. I mean, Icon's our favourite roller coaster in the UK. We love it, and it's not really about the height, um, but it's about the overall experience of it, you know. And obviously, we know this ride will feature the same style of trains with the lap bar restraints, uh, which is going to be great. I mean, the first drop on Exodus looks like it's going to be amazing. I mean, there's some fantastic No Limits creations that people have done um, all the way around that show what this ride is going to be like, and uh, it makes me very excited. So yeah, as much as we're saying goodbye to this old Mac, it's hello uh, to the new one. 
well we I suppose we could say it's return of the Mac really uh, but here we go a nice view look at this I mean this will probably be our last time seeing this I don't think this will be standing for much longer most of the uh, rest of the trough and lift hills have all of course all now been removed and yeah this is the last part of Vlogger's Leap that remains here at Thorpe Park rest in peace but here's the new things coming in And of course, some more angles just showing how it's going to change the skyline. I mean, bear in mind, when you look at Saw the Ride just over there, that's exactly 100 foot tall. So what we're looking at here is like two and a half pretty much times the size it's of Saw. It's absolutely huge and it's going to make the skyline look so good. Uh, yeah, I mean, Thorpe's always had an impressive skyline, but it's now... It's yeah, even better. It really is. But I mean, you look at Saw, it looks pretty big from here at 100 foot. And that's like a few hundred feet away from Monk's Walk here. Uh, obviously, the lift hill for Exus is going to be much further towards this pathway. So it shows, it's literally, we're going to be looking up at it right here. It's going to be towering right over. Even if they built a massive fence just here, you know, like you, you're not going to hide it. I don't think the park wants to hide it. They've been very open. I mean, what the park have done with the promotionals um, just last week was really good, kind of explaining, you know, and confirming how it's a Mac hypercoaster, uh, going into the details. I really like that. The fact they've been really open. There's no secrets with this. It's Club 236, uh, which is very exciting as well. Obviously, your first opportunity um, to, to ride on this attraction uh, when it opens next year in 2024. Obviously, you can come with your annual pass, scan it uh, throughout the year, and that means you get one entry into this competition um, to be on the first rides of this new coaster which is really exciting but yeah we'll get a few more shots on the way back down here before we wrap up today's update our first dedicated exodus construction update and the first of many coming up here on theme park worldwide Well, back around here now at the front entrance, and I tell you what, it's got me really excited for Exodus. Just walking down Monk's Walk there and seeing all the clearance taking place, this is going to be a monster of a coaster. I didn't realise how big the area was going to be for this ride, but it's a big area. Yeah, taking away all the trees down there. Of course, we're moving Logger's Leap, which is currently ongoing. It's not fully gone yet, but I'd imagine it will be soon. Um, it really has opened up the area. You've got to think the ride itself, uh, as much as it's very tall, it has got quite a small footprint. However, it's it's going to fit into that area really nicely and then you think about the lake that there's going to be there as well the water splash on the ride really nice. uh, it's going to be a fantastic area it really is obviously we don't really know much yet about the theme for project exodus um, and what that's going to entail however and um, what we've seen from the area looks fantastic and it makes me very excited um, to see more happening obviously we know that the ride uh, is built by matt rise like we've said throughout the video a fantastic manufacturer and it's going to be really exciting to see um, this track and supports arrive on site we know that the groundwork of course is now taking place ready to start work on the foundations the footers for the ride so that's always of course the first process of actually building the ride uh, once all the footers are done which seems like it can take a long time then we'll see the supports and the track probably go up in no time yeah, at exactly. all it'll go up quite quickly yeah as we've seen from covering these projects over the past 11 years here on theme park worldwide it's always the footers that take the time but then everything else comes on really nicely but uh, there we go very excited uh, honestly my only concern really about the coaster is its length i mean obviously we know that there's uh, shorter rides out there I mean here at Thorpe Park Stealth short coaster great ride um, the Swarm short coaster but it's a great ride same back at Alton Towers Nemesis legendary coaster but it is quite short so it does concern me a little bit the length but it's more the fact that we're seeing a 236 foot tall coaster and then not have a massively long layout feels like it might waste some energy however the first drop looks amazing the inversions on here are going to be really good and I've ridden two Mack Rides Hypers now and both of them I've really enjoyed I cannot wait yeah if it's only Something like DC Riles that we did in Australia. Oh, We're in for a ride. treat down here at Thorpe Park. But uh, stay tuned for our next updates. We're here in a few weeks on the channel. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. See you all in the next video.